your puzzle master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama chain puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the couple of quick moves that it takes to separate all three of those chain puzzle pieces and then how you can reassemble it back into its original position. Which is harder than you think because the number of orientations that you can have with these three pieces is quite ridiculous. So we're going to get to the correct one. Now the chain puzzle is a level 6 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and it is a level 10 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the chain puzzle you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca And without further ado, let's crack on with that solution. Okay, so here is a fully assembled chain puzzle and the hard bit about this, before we get into it, the hard bit about the chain puzzle is not necessarily how to take it apart because as you'll see that's just sort of just two moves to take this one apart. The hard part is the orientation because there's so many different sequences and possibilities for orientating these three pieces that that's the real challenge. So this in this position is the fully assembled position and we're going to be taking it apart from here. However, if if you are currently trying to take it apart, then maybe you're not currently in this position. And if you're not, then it is going to be harder for you because the sequence of moves is going to be the same, but it's going to be in a different way, which I'll try and explain as we're going through it. But obviously we're going to start with separating all three pieces. If you are putting it back together, then it's much easier to follow along to because you're already separated and then you can follow the steps that you're about to see and you will be, or you will get back to this proper original orientation of each of the three pieces. So what we're going to do is obviously these are labeled themselves. So you've got the number one piece here, number two piece in the middle and the number three piece on the left as we are looking at it now. And to separate these, the keys are the grooves in the number one piece, which is in here, just in there, and then the number three piece has a groove just in here. And the reason this separates is, or the reason we can separate this is by lining those grooves up with each other. And to do that, we need to change the orientation. So at the minute we've got one, two, three, we're gonna change it to one, three, two to start with. So for the actual moves, to make it as easy as possible to follow along to, I'm going to focus on this number one piece and try and keep it in this position as much as we possibly can, apart from the last sort of the last two moves where we're actually separating it. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the number one piece in this orientation, and then we're going to grab the number three piece, and we're going to bring it over the top and into this position here. And what we can then do is pass the number three piece through the number one piece and interlock all three pieces like this. So we've now not got a chain, we're now all connecting to each other. We're then gonna push these two pieces around to the bottom side of that number one piece and we're now gonna focus on the number two piece and we're gonna twist it around until we get to a point where we've lined up the three dots one dot on the number one piece and the two dots on the number two piece in a vertical line like this. And once we've done that we can then let that number two piece pass through the number one piece and now we've changed the order. We've got the number one piece here, the number three piece in the middle and the number two piece at the bottom. And we're close to solving it now. We're gonna move these around to the left hand side and now we can line up those two grooves. The groove in the number one piece is here and the groove in the number three piece is here. So we're going to line those up and now we're just going to turn to the side so we can see in this position. So this number one piece is now out of the way by, because we're using those grooves. And now we can separate the number two piece quite easily. So we're going to bring it around here. And there's a few ways you can separate it, but I like to separate it the way that we're going to put it back together, which is with the two dots in a, in a horizontal manner as we're looking at it from this position here. So we pass that through and we separate from there. And then all we have to do here is separate the number one piece. And again, I just like to do it in the, the way that we're going to put it back together, which is this position here. So that is how we separate the chain puzzle. 
And for putting it back together, first of all, it's much easier to follow along the toe to put it back together because there's no way that you can get the orientation wrong from this fully separated position, which is good news. But before we do put them back together, it's a little bit, oh, it's gonna be easier for you to get the each piece in the right position if you arrange the three pieces like this. So we've got the number two piece here with the two two dots in a horizontal manner here. The, uh, the number three piece in this position and the number one piece in this position. We're gonna start with the number three piece and then we're gonna take the number one piece. We're gonna go behind the number three piece and we're gonna connect those two just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the grooves on the number one and the number three piece in this position here before we can connect the number two piece, which again, two dots are in the horizontal line position as we are holding it, and we're gonna connect those two pieces in there. Then we can now switch our focus back to how we, would, how we did it to start with, which is we're gonna hold the number one piece in this position the whole time now, and we're gonna move the other two pieces around this number one piece. So first of all, we can unhook the two gap pieces just in there. And with the number two piece, we're gonna lift it from behind and we're gonna twist it into this position where again, we've got the three dots making a horizontal line. You do need the number three piece down in this position for the number two piece to now come through the number one piece. And we're then gonna do that, pass it through and flip it over into this position. What we're then going to do is turn both of those two pieces around to the left hand side of the number one piece and we're going to turn the number three piece around to this position and when you do twist it it's pretty much going to almost follow the or the move is going to almost follow into each other which is to bring that number through three piece through the number one piece and that is how you reassemble the chain puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama chain puzzle. As I said, as we were going along, disassembling it is relatively, well, tough. Putting it back together is easy because the orientation, you're starting from the same position. Whereas when you are taking it apart, you might be not starting from the original position that you got it out of the box in which does make it harder. You are gonna to have to then figure out a few different variations of the moves that you have just seen to then get it to a position where you can line up those grooves on the number one and the number three piece for you to then have the room to separate the number two piece and then be able to separate the three and the one piece. Hopefully that made sense and hopefully this video has helped you solve the chain puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the chain puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. Until next time, I will see you later.